Today, we will be covering the new and better method for importing Valorant characters into Blender. This method will give you a higher quality model, properly oriented bones, and more accurate and detailed textures. Before we start today's tutorial, I would like to thank Janik for showing me a lot of the information that I will be covering today. Go check out his socials in the description and consider supporting him. To start the tutorial, you must have everything in the description downloaded and ready to go. Start off by opening up umodel underscore valorant dot exe. Copy the settings I have. Set the file path to the packs file in your Valorant. To do this, find your Riot Game folder and from there follow my path. Open the text file for the AES key. Copy and paste it in. Select tools, then scan content. What this will do will tell us the type of file each file is. From here, go to game then character. In game files, characters have code names. The text file also shows which one is which. Let's export race. Her code name is clay. Go to clay, s0, character select, models. Select the model that is a scale mesh. We can identify it by seeing which file has a 1 in the scale column. Select it and export it. Make sure your skeletal mesh is an actor PSK. Choose an export location carefully. All your Valorant files will be going in there. Press export. Then export a GLTF 2.0 version. Exporting from the character select folder also exports all textures related to the model that you exported from there. Open up Blender. Go to Editing and Preferences. If you don't already have the PSK PSA importer add-on for Blender, the link will be in the description. Once it's downloaded, just click Install and select the file, Refresh, and Save. Once they are installed, simply type in PSK PSA in the search bar and make sure both of them are checked. I already have it installed. That's why I didn't select it. Click on the arrow that I click on. Then click on import PSK and navigate to the folder in which you exported your characters to. Follow my file path. This is how people normally import PSKs. This is wrong because it gives you a low quality model and wrongly oriented bones. To fix this, import it again but this time select reorient bones. Normally, people would shade smooth, however, this isn't accurate to the actual game files. Now, select your mesh and delete it so we can replace it with a higher quality one. Import your GLTF. It's in the same folder as your PSK. Select your rig and delete it. But now, you will notice the rig doesn't move with the model. To fix this, Select your GLTF and go to modifiers. Click on the eyedropper and click on the rig. Now you can see that the rig is aligned. Now go to the shading tab. You can see that different parts of the body are different colors. If you click on slots, you can see all the different textures we need to set up. Append the new and improved character shader. The link will be in the description. Delete all the nodes except material output and add the character shader node. Now, open up your files and follow my path. Drag in all your textures and align them as I do. Make sure to set your normal to linear. In the future, also set your MRS to linear. You might notice the emission is the wrong color. Just plug the diffuse into the emission texture to fix it. 
I chose Clay because it is a bit more complicated character than the others. Therefore, I can cover more information in this video. On her back, she has a rocket launcher from her alt. We also know that this is a weapon, so the shader will be a different one. Weapons use a different combination of texture maps. Link to these nodes will also be in the description. To get her textures, follow my file path. Notice how the file path is different, but it's corresponding to her alt ability. Then set it up as I do. The grenades are also a weapon, however, the textures exported are not in the weapon map texture combination. So, use the character shader for it and set it up as I do. but turn down subsurface scattering. The eye texture does not require a custom node. Follow my file path. Drag the eye texture into alpha and set the texture blend mode to alpha blend. We can copy and paste the nodes from slot 1 as they use the same textures. And there you go. That's how you port Valorant characters into Blender with reoriented bones, higher quality model, accurate emissions, and textures.